I am still overall disappointed with this showcase. Um, Are you? Yeah, I am. I actually was kind of on the other side of the fence. I actually was really excited. This is one of the, my favorite things to come out of the PlayStation Showcase that we can now finally... Let's, let's talk about the games. Let's talk about the we games. We can officially talk about what really happened rather than speculate. So Uncharted is a game that I know that I love. Like when I've played it in the past, I played it on PS3, I, I was playing it on. And I, I, I fell in love with the story. I fell in love with um, Drake. I fell in love with all of it. And then I became a bit of a loyalist to my Xbox as I went along. And I missed out on so much Uncharted stuff. And, mm -hmm. and my friends would tell me how good it was. And, I, and I'd always just think, maybe one day I will get back into that series. And as a PlayStation Plus subscriber, I know that Uncharted 4, um, A Thieves' End is, is on there. But this, mm -hmm. but this new... I'm going to wait now because now this new collection's coming out, isn't it? I think early next year. Yeah. Where yeah. you can play all of it in PS5, like, I guess, graphics and remastered. So... That is the, weirdly, that is one of the things I'm most looking forward to because that's a new experience for me. And I'm, I'm sure you can tell me how good I, I'm, this is going to be for me, right? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Real good. Yeah. It's going to be, no, it, you know, I think the, um, you're right, PS5. I mean, the Uncharted games, yeah. are I, I would say are probably the closest thing to a top tier Indiana Jones game yes. we've ever had. Like, I think it's pretty much the same thing, give or take. Um, it's what you were, what you would hope an Indiana James, Jones game would be, basically. Um, but you've got obviously Nathan Drake, the lead character, um, and as you said, like you've got yeah, the number, uh, the fourth uh, installment because there is an HD collection available now on PS4, or whatever. And I don't think they're going to bother obviously remastering that because it's been remastered already. Hence, number four has been. Um, it's also coming to PC as well, which is huge. PC players, we I mean, you've got ray tracing, all the kind of big stuff on your PC. It's going to look sick. It's going to oh. look so good. Um, but you're right, dude. Like the games. I mean, I'm very fortunate. I've got all the games. I've played all the games. I have finished all the games and I loved all the games. Okay. Um, so Lost Legacy as well is a bit different. Obviously you play as two, two uh, lead female characters um, who are equally as badass. Are, are, it's, a, it's another great game. It's, it's kind of... Um, it was the thing is, I remember when the game came out when Lost Legacy came out, and it was it was it only tw I think it was only twenty five pounds or thirty pounds brand new, mm -hmm. which immediately tells you it's going to be a smaller game. Yes, immediately off the bat, it's going to be a shorter game, and I was cool with that because I was like, I've had my fair share of Uncharted, I've played a lot of different stuff. I'm happy for it to be shorter. I still got a lot of bang for my buck. Yeah, I did. It was I, did I remember reading when it came out because you know Naughty Dog are never going to let you down are they and, and um, no, I remember no. I remember reading about that game and, and people saying it was a lot bigger than they expected that, that it would yeah. be um, but yeah, yeah. That, I, I am I am really looking forward to um, to Uncharted obviously there are other games that we need to turn our attention to um, yeah, yeah I mean there was do you know what there was actually a few remakes that were were kind of announced which I don't think anyone was really expecting but when they were announced people went okay I'm in. Like, yeah. one of the biggest games, um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Did yes. you ever play that? I'd never played it. Right. So this this was a game that came out, uh, I mean, 20 years ago. Was it 20 years? I think 20 years ago. Um, 20 years ago, what? by the way. <laughs> Two decades ago. That's crazy. And they've remade it. Um, and for, I mean, PlayStation is coming out. On, I mean, so basically, this is a, a Star Wars... RPG, mm -hmm. which was quite clunky. It was on it was on PC originally. Um, bit pixelated, but bit pixelated, bit kind of you know old. Obviously, twenty years old, but at its core was a brilliant Star Wars game. Yeah. Like it was a really like all the Star Wars universe, but it was kind of like it was part of the a lot of the games these days in the Star Wars space are very much like off the they're kind of like a. A, you know, a cut away from the actual Star Wars, like Skywalker saga. So you're yeah. kind of used to a lot of stuff, which has already kind of happened. Like, you know, I think we had, was it Rogue Squadron last week, last year or like whatever it was called? Like uh, where you had like the, the fighter simulator. You had like, um, obviously Battlefront takes a lot from the kind of the, 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 that kind of world. But what this does is it's kind of Star Wars, but it's it's not that, that same kind of point in time. Like, it kind of has a different story arc. Uh, so you have different Darth characters, different kind of like Jedis. It's it's really cool. And that coming to out is going to be, honestly, it's going to be a beaut. I cannot wait to play that. Yeah, I don't think anybody saw that coming. And I'm a big fan of the Star Wars game, so I'll, I'll be into that. Um, yeah. GTA is is, yeah. is finally getting its, um, its PS5 remaster, isn't it, as well? I know that the same for Xbox, but... I'm, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. Yeah. Right? I'm over it. I'm kind of You're over, over GTA it. Five. I, you mean? I'm. A, I'm. A, yeah. I kind of am. Like it's. It's been. I mean, let's not. This is a game. Let's not forget mm -hmm. that's been in what the top ten games for the last what seven Feels years. Like forever, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Like it's been, and it's got a, obviously, you know, it's got a massive, massive player base online um, for the kind of online GTA online, which, you know, obviously has a lot of scale for like, you know, Twitch and YouTube gaming and streaming and yeah. stuff because there's so many different mods and things to make it kind of a more kind of like specific experience. So you can, I mean, the different patches, like the game is amazing for variety. But to remake it for PS5, bro, like, are you going to get it again? I, I think I've got, I think I've got another run in me um, just because it's been a while since I, since I played this. Um, for the camp for the campaign or for the online full aspect? campaign I'm gonna go full on start full to on. finish campaign I'm gonna I'm gonna really throw myself into this I, I I do agree with you I think that it is a bit played out like even just the logo and the imagery just feels a little bit oh my god I've seen this for so long it's like it feels like it's been a lot around as as long as like the night tick but I watched I watched the um the graphics for it and and I haven't seen anything that suggests this has been upscaled yet I don't think. The stuff that I've seen doesn't look scream PS5 to me yet. So I need to I need to see some footage where I'm like, oh wow. Cause I think to really jump back into a game like this, that you need to really feel that enhancement. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. it can't just be a, a slight upgrade. It needs to be like, wow. I know, but it's it's also a game as well where for a lot of, for a lot of players, I mean I'm one of them, I own a PS4 copy and I also have it on PC. Yeah. And I've and I've I've played it, you know, a lot. And a campaign was amazing. Loved the campaign. The online stuff, I don't, I don't, I don't play it enough to kind of warrant kind of playing it on the regular because you need to obviously kind of like get your kind of like your your gang, your squad together, and yeah. get loads of money and buy. And I just don't have like I don't know. Maybe I think it's just me. I think maybe it's just me. I think the online side of things, I, I always find myself just jumping in and just looking to kill somebody, then coming off again. Like that's. <laughs> I've never <laughs> you sadistic bastard <laughs> um, but no, I, but no I, 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 I totally feel you like it, yeah. as, as a pick up and play game to jump in and you, gotta, you, can, and you do stand back and go this is immense like the, the scale and it's so accurate for like you know California as well like it captures it so beautifully yeah but um, for me, yeah, that, that's a game. That's probably the, that's one of the games actually that I wasn't particularly blown away by. But I know that there is going to be obviously a massive fan base for it. We've spoken here about remakes. There are a couple of titles that we can get really excited about. However, mm. I am still overall disappointed with this showcase um, because are you? Yeah, I am. Just just because even the games that are announced, like Spider Man, and then you've got the Wolverine. Oh. Oh. We're talking a long time before we get our hands on these games. So like yeah. for us who invested early in the PS5 hype, right? And mm -hmm. snatched and clawed our way to getting it. There's, some of my friends are still messaging me saying, Ian, have you got the hookup for a PS5? As if I am like the <laughs> PS5 man because I own one. I ain't the guy. But the fact that the, the us who, who really jumped in and, and got on board, they haven't rewarded us. They haven't rewarded us. In fact, no, to be fair, I think you might disagree with that in a minute. I, got... I am going to disagree okay. with a game that's come out this week uh, shortly. And I, I, may, I am going to really have to disagree because it's so damn good. But we're going to get on to that. We're going to get on to that. I actually was kind of on the other side of the fence. I actually was really excited. Okay. The reason being, okay, firstly, let's address the, 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 the two elephants in the room mm. that you just uh, shared. The Mar you know, Marvel's kind of take on things. Um, Spider Man Two, firstly. Now, if you've, if you've, if you guys are listening, have not had a chance to play the Amazing Spider Man um, that came out, or just, or just, sorry, the Spider Man game that came out on the PS4 a few years ago, it is one of the best games I have ever played in my life. Yeah. Not just because I'm a Spider Man fan, but because there aren't many things in games these days graphically that make me kind of like take my breath away. When you're playing as Peter Parker, Spider Man, and you are flinging yourself through Manhattan like while the sun is glaring on yep. you, it is something else. It's, like it was the, a one of the, oh. it was one of those gaming moments, wasn't it? Where it's like, oh wow, this is completely new, and this is oh. this is something I've never experienced before. And yeah. I, 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 it's one of them that you remember the first time you played it. Yeah, because we, it is, and we and you think we we see Spider Man games. We've seen them a lot over over the years, but for yeah. whatever reason. Insomniac put, you know, took this on and made something which was so darn beautiful that I yeah. was, and, and and the game as well. The game was really lengthy. Like there was there was a lot of you know a lot of things to collect, and it was massively platinumable. If that's a that's a word, yeah. Um, you could get everything if you committed to it, and all the DLCs were on point. Like everything was a com as a complete package. I think you can pick it up now on the PS Store for like 20, 20 quid for everything all in, and it's so worth it. Um, but obviously going on to that, they obviously had Miles Morales, one of the one of the title did you get that it was a title game that came out on on ps5 launch day did you get that at all i got it on launch day and it, it was yeah. um phenomenal like I, yeah i looked at do you know what it's a game that i will never 
ever get rid of that I, that I will I want to keep I want to keep forever while I've got my PS5. And the reason for that is a big part of it. I don't know why, but it made me feel really Christmassy. And I think it's because there was the snow, <laughs> there was the <laughs> yeah. snow bits, uh, and you're in New York City. And like you said, again, the freedom of being able to just swing around and, and see these amazing landscapes and as the weather changes and all of the different people wandering around the streets, you feel like you're in the buzz of New York. And I've decided, do you know we all have Christmas films? Mm -hmm. This is going to be my Christmas game. So like... Okay, okay, I like that, okay. Every December, I'm going to play until Spider-Man 2 comes out. Every December, I'm going to play Miles Morales and, and be in New York for Christmas. That is what I'm going to do. That's wicked. I love that. That's, that's a great thing to do. Because, yeah, you're right. Everyone has Christmas movies like Die Hard, what a film. Yes. Uh, Elf or Home, Home Alone for me. Home Alone 2 is the, is the absolute nuts. Yeah, I love for it. sure. But yeah, I loved, I loved it. And, and I'm really, really, really excited for that. I just feel like, come on now. You can yeah, you yeah. make your big announcement about Spider-Man 2. Everyone yeah. gets hyped. It's like when they said Breath of the Wild 2 is coming, guys. Yeah, when? In, <laughs> when? <laughs> what, in the next century or what? But Spider-Man yeah. 2 comes out in 2023. Come on, man. That's a long time to wait. It does. It does. They've, they've got that kind of in the, in the calendar. But they've also got... Um, which, by the way, I love the fact that Venom is the, is the lead baddie in the game as well. Yeah, I, I think that's amazing. So it ties good. in perfectly with... Ven the new Venom movie comes out soon, I think, as well. So, yeah. But um, Wolverine is another one, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, Insomniac Games, who um, make Spider-Man, are also you know trying their hand at a Wolverine game. We saw kind of like a really, like, a very basic tra trailer of, like, him hunched over at a bar drinking yeah. and things kicking off. Like, it looks like it's going back to the old school, like, like X-Men 1 Wolverine. That's why I kind of get the vibe. I'm intrigued to know what the gameplay is going to feel like for this. Like, it's, it's one of them yeah. that you can just sort of dream about, isn't it, now? And just be like, I wonder what that's going to look like. Uh, once again, the, I, I, am, I am really excited about it, but I never get excited about something that's not right in front of me. Like, I'm not going to think about s Saturday night's tea that I'm going to be having for m my dinner <laughs> before I've had Tuesdays, all right? So until I see yeah. more of this... It's, it's the traversal for me. It's how, like, Spider-Man, you get around the map so brilliantly with the web singing. Mm. As Wolverine, I presume you're going to jump around the map, like, by using your claws in buildings? I, I, I don't know how it's, it's going to... It is going to be absolutely it's, amazing, isn't it? It's going to be it's going to be mad. Like, I, I, I mean, whatever happens, they, they will have a way of doing it that is going to make us go, okay, yeah, I like it. The game that I'm not excited about in the Marvel Universe that's coming out is Guardians of the Galaxy, though. I am so not looking Why are you not bothered that. about that? I, yeah, we've talked about Marvel's Avengers that came out last year. Mm -hmm. And here comes another, what looks like carbon copy of that, yeah. where you can play as like, they're not the actual, the far, the hardest thing with Marvel Avengers was when the game came out, Square Enix re out, you know, released it. And it was like, that you know the characters as they are from the movies, uh -huh. but these characters are not the same characters in the game. They're like the comic book versions. So you don't have that natural, you do, you, you appreciate, oh, that is Thor and that is Captain America. Mm -hmm. But like with the Guardians game, I don't look at it, you don't go, oh, that's Chris Pratt. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, that, yeah. That, you know, he's he's you know he's Star Lord. That's awesome. You don't think of like uh, Dave Batista isn't isn't is Drax, right? Yeah. So you kind of like you, you you don't have that 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 straight that that kind of um, connection immediately. Yeah. But and I'm just not. I think a, a grind kind of game that it looks like. I'm just not that. I'm not that fast. I think I'm with. You know what? That comes out October, doesn't it? And I, yeah. I think I can give that a pass as well because there are other games that I'm more excited about. Um, yeah. March. Anything else? Yeah, March next year. You know what's synonymous with flexing graphics of a new PlayStation console has to be Gran Turismo. So whenever Gran Turismo comes out, it's a it's a real chance for them to say, hey, what we're doing here is you know cutting edge. This is next level stuff. Yep. Um, it is weird that it didn't come out with the PS5 because yeah, you'd that assume true. that it would. I'm not bothered about this game in regards to playing it. I never have been. I don't. I don't like. Car racing games. I don't know Hundred. I'm, I'm with you. We Forza, are brothers in arms on this. Forza in a bit, brother. You know, dare. I'm not bothered. Gran Turismo. No. I'm not bothered. However, I am interested mm -hmm. to see how it uses and utilizes all of the amazing um, features of the controller. And yeah, I want to see the graphics of this puppy. So yeah, I mean, it comes out what March fourth next year. Yeah. So that it's not it's not too long to wait. But I, I'm I'm with you. Like like for me, I'm just not a massive racing sim guy sorry guys like, but it's just, it's just not my thing if you're if you're a car person yeah. and you appreciate like you know that's that's your thing or speed or whatever in games i get that i completely and the competitive element i mean that that kind of gt world of racing as well like you know kind of esports is, is definitely growing yeah but for me it's just not my cup of tea but doesn't mean to say it's not going to be amazing because i'm sure for anyone who's a massive car fan oh, it's going to sure. be absolutely superb if you're into racing games i can't imagine it gets much better than gran turismo <laughs>